Hi! Hi folks. Here's an article that appeared in today's Dallas Morning News. This article is referencing legislation rolling through the Congress of these here United States of America that would basically protect journalists in this country. That no government should not be able to go after their sources or subpoena their records in reference to a story. In other words, keep your hands off the press. We'll print and say what we want, and it's none of your business. Yeah, and the news media says, well, you know, in the First Amendment of the Constitution, it guarantees the right of a free press. And they're right, it does. But that's all it says, a free press. However, the news media has stretched that to mean they can receive stolen material and reprint it. Yeah, and be protected. If my neighbor steals a refrigerator, a television, let's say, comes up to me and says, Hey, Tony, I got a television for you, and I stole it, and I accept the stolen television, I'm an accessory, because I knowingly accepted stolen material. But according to the news media, we're not an accessory. You understand that? Even though in most cases the government material stolen, was specifically stolen to turn over to the news media. But they want protection because the Constitution says a free press and that's in the First Amendment. And as far as the news media is concerned is because it's in the Constitution of free press there's no limitations whatsoever. But let's look at other items in the First Amendment which there are many limitations. Freedom of religion. You go into a church and you speak politics that church will lose its tax exemption. Freedom of religion, wait a minute. Then it also guarantees freedom of speech. Now that's a joke. We do not have freedom of speech in this country. If I go up to you and I start slapping you around and punching you, I will get arrested and charged with the crime of assault. But if I'm slapping you and punching you, and at the same time I say something negative about your heritage, why that becomes a hate crime? Because you said something hateful. Wait a minute. Where's my freedom of speech? You say something negative. If you work for the government against a certain uh, sexual orientation, against a certain minority group, against a certain religion that's prominent in the Middle East, you get sent off to sensitivity training because you were exercising your freedom of speech. That's the government suppressing it. Wait a minute. I have freedom of speech. They got freedom of the press. I have freedom of the speech. Now you know. Then the right, there are other rights also which are restricted. Such as, let's go to the Second Amendment with the right to bear arms. And we all know about all the restrictions placed upon that. But you better not touch freedom of the press. There's no restrictions. It's unlimited. You understand that? Yeah. All right. Now you understand how the Constitution works in these here United States of America. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America that was and hopefully will be. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And hopefully your nation is not afflicted with the liberal idiots we are. See ya. Ha 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 ha!